children welcome to today's lesson about air we are going to learn about air with the help of our friends raja and rani rani what do you see in this picture raja in this picture all the kids are enjoying a birthday party I saw the boy blowing the balloon. How does the balloon become bigger? As the balloon gets filled up with air, it gets bigger. I can see the cake with the candles glowing in front of the birthday girl. How do the candles burn? Rani The candles burn by using the oxygen from the air. Well, Raja, I have not heard these words air and oxygen before. What do you mean, Rani? You will come to know everything about after studying this lesson. Let's talk about the constituents of air. What is air made of? That will help us know more about air. Why do we need air? The earth on which we live is made up of soil and water and air soil is used to grow our crops water for drinking air is used for breathing Let's learn about the composition of air what is air Air is a mixture of several gases like nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide water vapor inert gases and dust particles nitrogen makes up 78% of the air around us oxygen constitutes 21% and the other gases make up a small portion of 1% of the total air we feel the presence of air when the wind blows and things move For example, when we dry our clothes on our terrace, we see the clothes moving. That's air in action. As we learnt, air is a mixture of gases containing nitrogen, which is 78%, oxygen, which is 21%, and the other gases like water vapor, dust particles, and other gases make up for the rest of the 1%. air occupies space you may be surprised to know but it also has weight when we put a bottle in a bucket if the bottle is empty the water goes inside and the air bubbles come out that shows that air has occupies space air exerts pressure in all directions for example when we are swimming we are afloat because air is exerting pressure from below us and keeping us on the surface of the water now air can be compressed this is the action of a piston where the plunger compresses the air this is something we use to fill air in the tires of our bicycles or in our cars let us conduct a small experiment to find out if oxygen is necessary for combustion or not we have three candles and three tumblers with the bases removed tumbler is supported on two wooden sticks which provides enough oxygen for the combustion in the second case which is at the tumbler in the middle there is no more oxygen left in the tumbler and it extinguishes in the third case we cover the base deliberately with a lid on top and the candle extinguishes again this shows that the presence of air and the component oxygen in that is an essential requirement for combustion to take place <laughs>